the spindle. The sea's lively today. All white tufts and salt spray. It's making my stomach churn, and I'm not the only one. A few of the other passengers have been hanging over the ship's side all morning. I find it's better not to look at the water. The bosun's mate gave me a job splicing sail rope as he drafts it, and fixing my thoughts on that is helping. He's a good lad, is Jago, though it's a shame he will keep singing as he works. Scarce old enough to shave, but he knows his trade, and it's all I can do to keep up. Between the yellow spindle dancing and counting the strands to splice, and Jago's cheerful squawks, I'm keeping my breakfast down and my spirits up, despite the waves. Rope making on a ship was an essential job and had to be done by hand using a tool called a spindle. Strands of hemp were attached to a straight stick or shaft with a bulbous weight such as the one found here forming the base. The spindle was then spun to twist the strands tightly together before the ends were woven back into each other to form a splice that prevented the rope from unravelling. Spindles had to be smooth and durable in order to make good quality rope. Wood and metal would weather badly in the salt water, making the strands catch and weaken as they twisted. This weight, or wall, to give it its technical name, was found amongst the remains of an ancient shipwreck, but despite its exposure it remains in excellent condition. Mm -hmm. 